Has there ever been a piece of artwork that you admired, but you just don't know where it came from? It's kind of like that song that you've been humming in the back of your head for the last 10 years. You hear it on the radio all the time, but you just don't know who wrote it. Well, my friends, this is the unfortunate story of Drew Struzan. Now, you might be asking yourself, who is Drew Struzan? Well, the answer is, if you've been to the movie theater since 1977, chances are you've seen at least one or more of his pieces of artwork. Drew's early career consisted of a lot of B-movie posters, album covers, and comic book related material. Drew said that he was poor and hungry, and for him, illustration was the fastest path to a slice of bread. It wasn't until he was commissioned to do a poster for a certain movie called Star Wars that he really started to get the renown he has today. Since then, he's done posters for movies such as Indiana Jones and the Back to the Future series. Harrison Ford himself even said that once Drew came along, things really did change. It gave his character of Indiana Jones a nobility and heroic nature, and quite frankly made him look good, so he couldn't complain. Drew's still around today and doing a greatest job as always. He's been doing a lot of work for the Harry Potter films, Hellboy, Pan's Labyrinth, and even the more recent Cowboys and Aliens film. And of course, once the Star Wars prequels were announced, he was commissioned to do work for all three films. Unfortunately, over the last 15 years or so, there's been a bad trend with terrible movie posters and covers. Posters with nothing more than just a celebrity's face and some text slapped on top. But you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is the perfect kind of poster for this type of a movie. <laughs> But look at this Prince of Persia poster. Oh my god, this is horrible. This is where you want everything to be epic and blown out of proportion. But instead all we get is Jake Gyllenhaal standing there. Drew's work has spawned many clones, often giving him the credit when actually another artist did it. However, you can still see people that are inspired by his work all over the place. Because of this, these pieces of work have been called Struzons, named after Drew himself. That's how famous the guy is in the industry. When you look at a piece of Drew Struzan's work, it's almost like looking at a memory of the film, the way he's able to show the climax, love story, companionship, and expression, all in a single shot. Drew's artwork is what makes the iconic imagery that we remember from the films. It's almost as if you were to see the film, and then saw the cover afterwards, you'd probably be like, yeah, that's what I remember from the movie. Drew is a pretty quiet guy, and he often likes to keep to himself. This could be part of the reason why he's not such a household name. He said, in order to do a good job, I need to find the heart that the writer and the director had to have to go through all the time and energy to film the movie. No synopsis on the back of a movie cover could ever say nearly as much as one of Drew Struzan's posters. This is truly an instance where a picture is worth a thousand words.